what's going on today guys and welcome back to a new youtube video this is ua laskins coming at you with some uh some pretty big news in the tcg world um as many of you know i'm sure the uh, one piece nationals just happened um this past weekend um from what i understand it was kind of a shit show uh so that that kind of sucks but um you know growing pains and whatnot although i'm I guess, from what I understand, uh, the people who put the event on have ran similar events for other TCGs, so not too sure why it wasn't, you know, run smoother and kind of figured out better, but uh, anyway, that's not why we're here today. We're here because they made an announcement. Uh, they said that they will reprint previous booster sets for One Piece card game. Uh, sets not specified, but previous boosters was the exact wording. People are excited, uh, and understandably so. Um, I wish I could find the video. I wish I could. I could not find a video on this. Unfortunately, I would have loved to have watched a video to get to because a couple of things come to mind to this. I I would love reprints. I would love to have the opportunity to open up uh, some more of this. Some more, you know, the older sets. Um, I didn't open up a ton. Of, I didn't open up really any of OPO one. Uh, very limited amount of OPO2, and then OPO3 and 4 I opened up a lot more of. And of course, 5, we all know how that went. <laughs> so, well, if you don't, then go go watch those videos. They're, you know, I opened up a lot of OPO5. Um, uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, it's, it's just interesting, right? Uh, we have no idea how much, how much is going to be reprinted, uh, what the print run is going to be like. Um, if you'll be able to, you know, decipher cards from the reprinted boxes, uh, you know, they like a little marking on them showing that it's from the print run and not from the original, the original release. Um, whether or not they reprint OPO one is a big question. Um, I'm not sure if they will. Um, and really, I, it's one of those things where it's like you just you really have no idea how much this is going to affect any of the secondary market pricing. Uh, which we all know has, has been a little crazy um, uh, and a bit ridiculous. Uh, my my main pain point with the secondary market would be the uh, the cards that are locked behind starter decks, uh, because you know it, it sucks that the alternate arts and the pretty cards have have gone up quite substantially in the last couple of months, or really since the launch of OPO five, honestly. Uh, which, which it, uh, I'm just gonna have a little little pat on my back here. I made a I made a video about how OPO5 was gonna be crazy, and it was, and it is, and it has brought a ton of eyes onto the card game. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh community has found it, but uh, you know what? More players, the better. You know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't haze me, Yu-Gi-Oh players. It's okay. You're appreciated too. Um. So yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how much they do, you know, uh, which sets they do. Um, I'm not, I you know, a lot of people are like going crazy and they're like, oh, this is gonna you know completely crash secondary market. Everything's gonna get a lot cheaper now. I don't think so. Um, I think things will go down. I think there will be a dip. Uh, but I really think that there's been so many collectors and so many players that are starting to get into this game more and more and more. Um, you know, you see LGS is looking for allocation for this product more and more. I see people who are big in the Magic community uh, dipping their toes into the One Piece community. Um, it's a great game. Uh, it really is. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm happy that it's getting the attention that it deserves. I'm happy that, and I'm happy that they're doing this. So that the people who are just now getting into One Piece have the, the chance to experience opening you know, the original, the original set, you know, the, the first few sets that they may have missed out on. So that's great. Um, I'm just hoping we see some reprints of the starter deck cards because for me that's the big you know common common cards from the starter deck are are you know shouldn't be like 30 40 50 dollars um, you know it, it, they, they need a reprint for sure especially when they're you know part of the meta uh, and you need four of of them that that kind of sucks uh, but generally speaking even if the alt arts are, are high you can always get you know a non alt art alternate art you know card that's much much cheaper. Uh, there's much cheaper versions, which makes the game more accessible for people to get into. So that's what I really like about One Piece and how they've been handling all of that. In my opinion, it's great. Um, you know, obviously, I would love pretty cards as well, but you know, it is what it is. Um, if you want to fork out for it, you can uh, try and get them as as early as they come out at this point, really. 
Uh, but yeah, so really, you know, it's 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 a big it's a big it's a big announcement. But I don't know how much they elaborated. I don't know how long they were on this topic for. Like I said, I couldn't find any any video of it. Um, so I'm ho I'm hoping you know I'm hoping it's 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 substantial. I don't hope I really I don't hope they print it into the ground. I'm not I don't hope that uh, because I think it would just make it would make all the all the collectors drop out. And uh, you need collectors in a trading card game. That's why it's called you know it's a it's a collectible trading card game. That's what that's what makes it collectible, right? So, um, but yeah, uh, so interesting news. Now let's go on to the my in my opinion kind of bigger news but also not not the biggest news ever um hold on hold on i had I, I was trying to move my my face so that my editor could use some of this uh some of this content and, and slice it up for me and so i can put it on tiktok but i'll just i'm trying to figure out what the best placement is for this oh well you can't see the top i'll read the top for you Top of this says, it is with a heavy heart that I must announce that, effective immediately, MetaZoo Games will be closing and shutting down all operations. And if you haven't heard of what MetaZoo is, uh, you're not alone, um, <laughs> obviously, because it's shutting down, which means not a lot of people <laughs> really heard about it too much. Um, this has been writing on the wall for quite some time, in my opinion. Um, I've been saying that this game wasn't sustainable from the get-go. Um, I think their most successful uh, set was Nightfall, uh, which I personally, I, I got some, I opened up some, had Mothman in it, awesome cryptid, fun cryptid, you know, the lore behind it's a lot of fun, so I bought some of that, and that was probably their most successful set, uh, to be honest, but there wasn't any sort of competitive scene, really, at all, and, like, nobody really pl actually played the game, and you kind of need that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of, and I say kind of because you know, like, you know, Force of Will has its small player base. You know, you don't really see it a whole lot, uh, you know, tournaments-wise, anyway. Um, you know, and uh, and and Weiss, Weiss also, I don't believe, is played super, super much. So you can you can get by with a game that doesn't have so much of a competitive scene or is really actually played that much. It's possible. But when you have the issues that MetaZoo has had from pretty much the beginning after, like, once Nightfall came out, uh, they did a fire sale on Hello Kitty. Um, they just dumped the product onto the market because they invested too much into it. Um, and so they, they just, they, and that, that shied a lot of people away from the, from the products. Um, really, and, and they, and their, their, their public, their public response to questions and whatnot was never good. Uh, I don't know how many screenshots I saw in Facebook groups of discord discussions and chats with the, with, you know, the higher ups of MetaZoo and, uh, it just left a really bad taste in your mouth, really. Um, and, and they actually closed that discord down. I think it was in October. And when they did that, I was like, MetaZoo is done. I like quite, like quite literally, I, I don't think I, I never made a video on it, but like discussing it with my buddies, I was like, it's just done. It's a dead game period. It's, it, I, I doubt, I doubt you'll see anything substantial. Um, it, <laughs> it kind of just feels like a pump and dump to be honest with you. Uh, you know, it came out in 2021, you know, barely made it three years uh and now they're just like sorry done so let's read the whole let's read the whole announcement uh i want to take this opportunity to thank everyone in the community for the incredible four-year run that we had of course generous uh metazoo games was started during the pandemic and provided a home and created a culture that revital that revitalized the tcg industry launching a new wave of card games that now number in the hundreds i'm proud to have been part of that and you should be too uh so like a ton of card games he's right ton of card games did try to come out during uh the pandemic and like 95 percent of them failed yeah yeah you know like the only ones that came out and were still like su successful fab still successful and metazoo was still going but uh, i don't think i'd ever would have ever called metazoo successful unfortunately that era has passed so that era has passed so you know the easy easy money and everyone trying to pump this this metazoo up uh, and then and then get rid of the products at you know the higher cost points and then get out. Uh, that's passed. Yes, yes, that has passed. 
Um, and faced with logistical and product gridlocks, MetaZoo games can no longer continue to exist in the current economic and collectibles markets. It is my hope that MetaZoo can continue on as an IP at some point in the future under new ownership, and I look forward to that day. Special thanks to all MetaZoo artists and staff, both past and present, that made these, these past four years possible. The memories we created will be something we cherish for the rest of our lives. More information will follow and be communi communicated via our Discord channel when it becomes available. Again, that Discord channel is shut down uh, unless they made a new one that I'm not aware of, but uh, I distinctly remember seeing it being shut down. Uh, so that's a weird statement. Uh, and thanks for everything once again, Michael Weddell. And what makes this so crazy is they just came out with like this roadmap, right? So it's so that's nuts. Uh, and that just feels like they were trying to buy time before they they pulled the rug, essentially. Um, kind of crazy because this is like this is like a you know TCG you know trading card games fail all the time. You know the very small ones. You know they don't make it past the Kickstarter phase. You know a lot of time and effort and money is put into it and never actually gets off the ground. That happens all the time. You don't necessarily see something like this just pick up and be like, oh, well, we tried. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, there's also tons of rumors going around. They owe a lot of different uh, companies money, um, like the, 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 you know, the printers. They owe the printers money. They owe artists money. They owe, like, just a crap ton of, supposedly. There's nothing concrete, but... That's the word on the street, and honestly, when you look at this, you see this, this happens, and it's like, okay, well, <laughs> well, well, you know, so it's interesting. I, I truly, honestly, like, the night, the only set that ever caught my attention really was Nightfall. It was the only thing I ever was really interested in. Um, you know, I opened up some of it, uh, tried to get them off, man, whatever, uh, and that was pretty much it. Uh, I, I did have, like, a few boxes I was sitting on. Uh, I sold those, like, two years ago, I believe. Yeah, like, a year or two ago, I sold them. Because I, like, I was like, I'm never going to open these. I don't think they're going to go up. I think this game is just dead. Uh, it was hyped up for a while, and here we are. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, you, you need a player base, man. Like, uh, like as a new TCG, you need, you need a player base. You need to have, like, an actual game that you can play, in my opinion. Uh, to be super successful, like you know, Weiss, Weiss is super successful because they have all the crazy IPs, and then Force of Will is just like it just it, it's just one of those games that just won't die for whatever reason. My, one of my buddies, uh, he loves it too, and I've just never looked at it to be honest. I don't really know a whole lot about it, so I'm not gonna shit on it or anything. But um, I believe they still have like you know LGSs that hold tournaments for Force of Will and and they and they, you know nothing massive you know nothing on like a, on an MTG fa uh, you know Fab Fab has some pretty big events One Piece One Piece entrance for the for the Nationals was like 1900 and something that that's crazy uh, for the first year of a TCG that's nuts so that's so it's really encouraging it's good but uh, but yeah what do you guys think did you ever think Metazoo had a shot did you ever think that did you think this was gonna happen? Did you think? Did you see this coming? I, I personally, I did. I, I absolutely, I, 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 I was, I, you know, I, I never made. I should have made a video about it, to be honest, so that I could have it in writing. But, <laughs> uh, and I'll always admit when I'm wrong, obviously. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know. Wait, what, what do you think happened? You know, what, what do you think really was like the the death nail for MetaZoo and, uh, and just for this to happen so suddenly? It's, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy so uh thanks for watching like subscribe and i'll see you next time